Hey everybody, my name is David. I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church. Hey, it's summer. It is summer and we're gearing up for vacation Bible school, gearing up for our summer programs. And uh, of course, you know, it just means my kids at home are already bored out of their minds. They're already bored, walking around saying, I'm bored, I'm bored, constantly. And I just don't remember being bored when I was a kid during the summer. I mean, I might have been, I might have been. I don't remember being bored. I remember uh, going over to a friend's house and eating popsicles in the backyard. I remember hanging out in some random kid's living room and just talking and laughing or uh, playing touch football with the other kids on the street or playing cap guns with the other kids on the street or getting on my bike and riding to the park or getting on my bike and going eight blocks <laughs> to the Circle K. And then at Circle K, I would buy like, chocolate pies and Snickers bars and Pepsi and I'd, any change I had left over, I'd, I'd play Donkey Kong. Uh, and that was like summer, like that was the whole summer. I don't even remember any of these fun things that the kids do now, like going to Disneyland or going to summer vacation or going to vacation Bible school. Like I didn't do any of those things. Like vacation uh, around my house was, hey, we're going to your aunt's house for a week in Eureka. So yippee. But we can't bag on kids, right? We can't complain uh, because I don't know. I think a lot of us, a lot of us enjoy doing nothing. I mean, you, you work all day, you work hard and you know, somebody says, Hey, what are you doing after work? And you kind of get excited because you're thinking, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit and I'm going to put on my pajamas and I'm going to watch TV and I'm going to sit there uh, all night until I fall asleep. Like we kind of, we kind of like boredom. We kind of like doing nothing. We kind of like relaxing and lounging. But you know, if you watch any stories about people who succeed or invent or get famous, you know, you, you listen to their stories and what you find is a lot of those people, they all have something in common, which is they continue to strive. They continue to strive and take risks. So it's not like they're just working every day, no to the grindstone. It's not just that. They're working, sure, but they're always looking for opportunities. They're always reaching further. They're always persevering, striving harder. They're always trying to grab something that's out in front of them. This Sunday, we're talking about the moment that Jesus was seen walking on water. More specifically, um, Peter taking that step out of the boat and beginning to walk on water himself. You know, and I've heard some people preach this and they say, ah, oh, Peter took his eye off the prize. You know, T Peter took his eyes off Jesus and he started to sink. And so the lesson we should learn is we should always keep our eyes on Jesus. That's a great lesson. But you know, I don't, I don't look at Peter as being a failure because you know, if Peter walked on water for a minute, he walked on water for a minute longer than I ever will. Right? So in my mind, he's a success. I mean, the only two people that know what it's like to walk on water are Jesus and Peter. So Peter not only saw an opportunity, but he took it. And even if it was for a minute, he was succeeding. And even when he started to fail, the Bible says Jesus reached down and picked him up. And I think that's something that is promised to us. You know, we take those risks, we try, we, we put our foot out there, we step out of the boat and Okay, if we start to fail, we start to falter, if we start to doubt ourselves, our Savior will be there to grab us and lift us up. That's what we're going to talk about this Sunday. And it's also Father's Day, so we want to remember our fathers, celebrate them, honor uh, our own fathers, absolutely, and uh, just enjoy our morning worshiping the Lord. Hey, we've got two services, one at 9.30 and one at 11. Our 11 o'clock service has a full childcare program, including youth, and we hope to see you guys there. Thanks. Bye.